Hey guys, Color Out Cameraman Brian here. Today I'm trying to figure out my tie down situation for my truck camper with my new truck. Uh, since I got my new truck, I haven't used a really efficient system. I've just been using strap tie downs and uh, I've noticed that it kind of rubs against my paint job. And some of you guys have told me that that's not a good idea and I feel like it's not either because I don't want to bust up my new truck and uh, break the panels or scuff the paint job. So on my old truck, I used to have these pocket stakes and uh, you know, this part right here would go into the stake pocket in the truck and then you bolt it down. Now here's all the, all four of them that I have. And on my old truck I used to have this bolt on there and a little nut and I could tighten it down as well as tighten it, on it, tighten it on the top of the bed rail here. And it worked out pretty well. Um, my new truck, I don't have access to this. So I'm cutting them off. And what I'm gonna have to do is actually cut this and extend it out. Cause if we look, if we bring it over to my truck here, the front works. But in the back, since my truck, the bed sticks out pretty far, in order for this part to clear my rail, we're gonna have to extend this part out. We're gonna cut this and extend it out. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. So I'm gonna videotape and show you guys how I'm gonna do that here. All right, so I'm just going one stake at a time and I'm just using this little uh, cutoff wheel that I have and I'm just uh, cutting this off because again, I can't use it with the, the pockets that I have, so I'm just uh, cutting them all off. I'd be doing this outside, but it's cold and rainy and kind of nasty out, so I'm doing it in my shop here. Here we go. So I got these all grinded down here, so there's no more bolts. And just to show you guys, this is why I need to cut and extend them out. Because this rear, see how it's hitting here and this isn't flush. So we're going to cut it right here and then just extend it out a little bit further so it pops out here. The front will be good. The front, once we tie it down, or once we uh, bolt it down to the bed rail, it should be fine. Here's the job site supervisor, TJ. Say hi, TJ. <laughs> so here's what we ended up doing with the truck camper tie downs. I didn't end up videoing this because my neighbor helped me and he ended up doing some of this just by himself. So we actually, this part and this part were welded together initially, but we needed it to stick out further because I have this bump in my bed. So what we did was we cut it and then welded on this additional piece, kind of this extension. And then uh, just drilled the hole in here, so there's that. And then for the front, the front was good, it's a little close. We'll eventually bring these out more, but we did have to extend this out. Uh, because if you look on the other side, the stake pocket extends out pretty wide. So if you look at the other tie down over there, you can see why we had a extend it out this much further um, because otherwise we won't be able to get this bolt below. So that's it. So that's uh, what we're going to roll with for now. I may eventually get a uh, frame mounted tie down system, but we're going to go with this for now. All right, so here's the uh, truck camper tie downs. So just getting back from a truck camper trip. So I ended up uh, using the turnbuckle here and then I uh, have this eye bolt here that holds everything down. And I put these ratchet downs on here too, and it connects to the frame. So I really didn't want to make sure that the front of the camper, you know, want to make sure that is pulled towards the front of the truck and also that that stays down real good. Uh, this is scuffing the paint a little bit, kind of like some of you guys have commented and I've talked about before. What I'm gonna do in the future, and I thought about this of course afterwards, um, after our trip, but it's just put small pieces of electrical tape just to prevent any uh, scuffing and whatnot uh, on the paint job. But these uh, these little stake pocket 
tie downs have worked really well. They work great on the other truck and they seem to be working really well for this truck too. So I'm gonna keep with them for now. Maybe eventually I'll do the uh, frame tie downs. But the truck camper I pretty much just use in the winter time, in the spring time. And now that's summer. Uh, it's the end of May right now, so now that's summer. That's when we start to use our travel trailer more. It just has a little, little more uh, amenities in the truck camper, a little more room. And this thing uh, I have set up mainly for winter camping trips. So thank you guys for checking out this short video here on my uh, truck camper tie downs. Uh, please subscribe, and uh, we'll see you later.